So today we're going to be going over 10 reasons why you need Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense in your fragrance collection. It's been a while since I've done this style of video, but looking back, it seems like you guys really found these to be useful. It's another way to uh, help give you some insight if you're looking to make a purchase on a particular fragrance. I happen to go over some of the main reasons why you should consider that. I've done a full review on this one. I featured it in some videos, and I have to say that over time, as I've worn it more, I've started to like it quite a bit more, so I figured, you know, let's go and throw one of these together. Maybe this will help you when it comes to making a decision on whether or not you want to purchase this. Let's get it. Reason number one, it's incredibly mass pleasing. Let's get that out of the way, front and center, because that's gonna be a big selling point for a lot of people. It's got cardamom, tonka bean, cypress, some other woods in here, a little bit of a bergamot opening. It's warm, it's powdery, but it's also fresh. Uh, there's a nice iris note in here as well, which is used throughout a lot of the other fragrances in this lineup, so it's very pleasant. Basically, it has the, uh, the mass pleasing DNA written all over it here. Reason number two why you should have this in your collection is it's a really good performer. On my skin, usually around seven to eight hours of longevity, and projection also goes pretty hard, especially in the heat. Now this is an eau de toilette intense, obviously, so it's not even like it's a, a super highly concentrated fragrance or anything like that. It does very well. It's easily one that's gonna get you through most of your work day, and if you do need to do a reapplication in the middle, then that'll definitely set you through the entire day. But I would say most of you could probably get away with going with a few sprays in the morning and it should probably do you pretty well. Third reason why you should have this one in your collection is it has great quality for the price. Now, you can get it on discounters. Given that it is still relatively new, the prices are going to be higher than some of the others. However, we can imagine that over time, the price is going to drop back down to where the other ones are, which is in that $50, $60 price point. And once it gets there, it'll be great bang for your buck. And honestly, even at the price that it's currently sitting at now, I think it's a really good pickup here. It's very smooth, the quality comes across great, nothing about it is clashing or anything like that. Uh, it's very impressive. Fourth reason why you should have this fragrance in your collection is it's clean and fresh, but it also has a fair amount of depth to it. So I was kind of talking about this in the beginning, but you know, when it comes down to something that's very mass pleasing, you know, very wearable, that sort of thing, uh, a lot of times it will be on the fresher side. That's not always the case. There are a lot of sweet fragrances which are very mass pleasing, that sort of thing. Uh, but typically airing on the side of caution, it's gonna be something fresher. And that's great, nothing wrong with that, except that sometimes you may want something that is a bit more interesting. Not quite more challenging, because I wouldn't say this is challenging, but more interesting. And this here is definitely more interesting than your typical fresh fragrance. Again, that tonka bean, cypress, iris mixture here smells fantastic and it gives you a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a spiciness from the cardamom. Uh, it smells fantastic and it really kind of creates a nice balance between somewhat fresh and clean and also kind of sweet, spicy, and a little bit seductive. Fifth reason why you should have this fragrance in your collection is that anyone can pull it off. So from a blind buy standpoint here, it can be done, right? You really don't have to uh, be too awfully concerned about it. Now, of course, like with any fragrance, there's gonna be people who don't like it. There's people out there who don't like Versace Pour Homme, one of the most wearable, most universally accepted men's fragrances. There's gonna be people who don't like that, so there's gonna be people who don't like this one either. But typically here, a lot of you can get away with a blind buy and be very happy with that. And to that point, it doesn't matter what your age is. If you're a younger guy, if you're an older guy, if you like how it smells, you can pull it off. And I would say most of you are really going to enjoy this. The sixth reason why you should have this scent in your collection is it has an attention grabbing opening. So I've talked about this before being very important, at least for me personally, which is why I put it in the video. When I'm looking at a fragrance, whether it be trying it for the first time or just something that I like to go back to and wear, if the opening really catches my attention and really just blows my mind and makes me go, wow, you know, I, I forgot how good that opening is. To me, that is a big positive because we've all been there before where you smell a fragrance, you spray it on for the first time and the opening is kind of dull, kind of flat. That doesn't necessarily pump you up to sit through and smell the rest of the scent. A lot of times you may even just scrub it off and go on to the next one. But for me, the cardamom up top, along with all of the other notes we've discussed, really make this one open up and stand out immediately, making me want to go back to this one and wear it all the time just so I can experience that opening again. So that's a big key plus for me. Seventh reason why everyone should have this in their collection is it's incredibly modern. So we're kind of moving from the trend being Ambroxan over into 
I guess kind of a uh, woods, um, kind of aroma chemical heavy woods, I suppose. Uh, take a look at something like Dior Ohm 2020. Dior, they're a trendsetter. Chanel, they're also a trendsetter, although we haven't heard anything from them yet. Uh, but that Dior is kind of really the epitome of a, a modern men's fragrance that you would expect to smell in 2021. It uses cashmere and iso -E super, all that sort of thing. And while those notes aren't listed here in this one, I kind of pick up on some cashmere. And I said that from the very beginning. If you go look at my first impressions, I immediately said that right off the bat. And I still pick up on that now. It's a modern, woody, masculine smell. And that's kind of what we're moving towards here. So, you know, this is kind of uh, the quintessential modern men's fragrance that smells great and holds up these days. I mean, if you go out wearing this one, people are gonna absolutely go crazy over it. Eighth reason why you need this fragrance in your collection is it could be a great signature scent. So not everyone wants to build up an entire collection and have one fragrance for each little specific different situation. Maybe you just wanna have a couple different things that you can rotate through throughout the entire year. This one here could be a contender for that if you like how it smells because there are some fragrances out there that you could really love how it smells. It smells fantastic to you, it blows your mind, but maybe it's not the most signature scent worthy. Maybe it's a bit too sweet for summer. Maybe it's a bit too fresh for winter time. Maybe it's even just too strong to wear to work, that sort of thing. But this one here essentially has the perfect setup for something that you could wear every day, anytime, anywhere. And that is very valuable for a lot of people out there. So you can definitely get your money's worth out of this one. That's what I'm saying. Some fragrances you may buy and you can only wear it for certain specific situations because it just doesn't work elsewhere. Not the case with this one. Ninth reason why you should consider picking this one up is it separates itself from all of the other flankers in the gentleman lineup. So it does still have that iris, which shares in common with the others. However, it doesn't smell like uh, Gentleman Eau de Parfum or the original or cologne, or gentleman uh, boise. You know, it, it really does do its own thing here, focusing on woods and that sort of thing, still using that iris. And really, I would say for the most part, the entire line is like that. Uh, this is a really good fragrance line, especially at the price. Uh, Givenchy has really done well here. And I would say all of them really stand out on their own, and they've done a great job at that, and they continue to do so with here. This is not redundant. This does not smell similar to any of the other ones. And that may seem like it might be the case because it's called Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense. So you would think this would be a, a stronger version of the original Gentleman, but that couldn't be the case. They're completely different scents. So not redundant at all, making it a really nice option for you, especially if you're someone who already owns the entire line. And 10th reason why you should have this fragrance in your collection is it's unique for what it is. So this will get, I guess, the generic tag stamped on it right out the gate. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that you've never smelled something in this genre before, because that would be a lie. But what I am saying is that for what it's worth, all things considered here, it is kind of a standout scent. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's 10 reasons why you need Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense in your fragrance collection. The newest, latest, and greatest. Yeah, I think it's worth the pickup. Now that you can get it on discounters, it's getting to the point where a lot of you guys will want to start considering it. Again, it's still not cheap, it's still not super affordable, but it's a step in the right direction. And after a few more months, it'll be there. So those links will be down below to discount websites where you can buy this one. You can hit those links and shop around and find wherever it's cheapest at, because that's always gonna be changing. You know, I could post the cheapest link down there right now, and then in a couple weeks, a couple months, it could be completely different. So I put them all down there for you, all reputable sellers, so you can do that on your own. And if you wanna become a channel member, do so by hitting the join button down below. You can hit that button and it'll show you all the different perks I want to give a shout out to my members. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me in the group chat. Thanks for watching these videos early and supporting the vlogs, that sort of thing. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.